This is Blazing Goalie again for another installment of Government Gone Wild. You know, we keep on hearing that if we want to get Congress back on track to representing us, that we need to get the special interests out of politics. And I wholeheartedly agree. But what most fail to realize is that government itself is its own special interest and will do and or say almost anything to protect itself. Now stay tuned because at the end of this video, I'm going to show you why our freedoms may be at stake if we don't cut government soon. Our federal government has seen an explosion in its size over the last 10 years, and both political parties are to blame for this. How big has it grown? Over the last decade, the number of private sector employees has grown only 1%. But the number of federal government employees has grown 15%. We are now out of the era of big government and into the era of enormous government. Basically, Congress used this recession to expand government and entrench government workers. When this recession started, while you are worrying about paying the bills and keeping a roof over your family's head, the Transportation Department had one, just one employee making over $170,000 a year. Today, that number is 1,690 employees. When this recession started, while you are worrying about keeping your job and putting food on your table, the Department of Defense had 1,868 employees making over $150,000 a year. Today, that number is 10,100 employees. In fact, when this recession started, the number of federal employees making more than $100,000 a year doubled in less than two years. And when you include salary and benefits, the average total compensation for a private sector employee in 2009 was $61,000. Now, take a guess what the average total compensation for a federal government employee was in 2009 a whopping $123,000, more than double that in the private sector. Do you really think these people will vote against any spending cuts? Now, this is the important part. There are approximately 21,300,000 government employees in this country. We'll talk about special interest. About 16% of this nation's voting electorate works for government and most people have at least one person close to them, like a spouse, who will vote with them in an effort to keep their job. Well, that means at least 32% of the voting elector will come out and vote against anyone who talks openly about spending cuts. And when that number hits 50%, well, it's game over, folks. And then we, the people, will be in the permanent minority. And therein lies the hidden danger of big government. Now, the only way we can make a difference is if people hear this message. Please forward this video to everyone you know before we wake up one day and it's too late. Well, that's it for this edition of Government Gone Wild. Be sure to visit our website and sign up for our email updates and become a fan on Facebook and suggest it to all of your friends.